I'm Sarah Satch, and it's time for Coffee and Crochet with Sarah, our YouTube podcast. Now, I've had some questions lately about why don't I have my live videos on Facebook anymore? There were just too many complications, and Facebook kept changing things every week, and it was too hard to keep up, and they would cut us off in the middle and things like that. And so we moved over to YouTube to do our live Coffee and Crochet with Sarah podcast. Now, after I finish our live video, I do post it over on my Facebook page, the Posh Pooch Designs Facebook page, as well as our PPD Puppy Love Crochet Group. And you can get involved in that. Those links are down in the notes under this video if you want to watch it that way. But we do our live videos every Tuesday, unless there's an issue, at 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time, because I live in Parker, which is south of Denver, Colorado. All right, so, and it's going to always be on YouTube unless something changes. And things change sometimes. <laughs> so, let's start right off with our clink in. Clink. <laughs> We have had some absolutely beautiful weather lately, and we're going to have pretty weather. We're going to have some wind, but through the week. And so I'm doing some prep on my uh, uh, container garden, and that's because I just wanted to let you know on Friday, I'm going to do a quick before and after walkthrough, and then I'm also going to show you how to make a whirly jig to put in your garden, and also my favorite yarn for making things for the garden for decoration. So that's going to be Friday for our Friday fun day. I thought I'd just pop that in there. And I did want to address something uh, right away. Um, I got a really um, interesting email this week. And I've been having a little bit of trouble with my email. I For some reason, I'm not getting all of them, which is no different than on Facebook. I rarely get my messages or notification of a message, so I have to go and check. And I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> so anyway, um, y'all know I drink my coffee and a lot of other things with a straw. My dentist recommended that if you're a coffee drinker or a tea drinker, drink with a straw because it will help, you know, the health of your teeth. Well, I got this um, uh, email that was really unkind talking about how I hate it, the world and I don't want to take care of our, our country or our, our world because I use straws. So I want to clarify something for you. I don't throw my straws away. I don't, unless they're just beyond being used. And what we do with them is we wash them with really hot water and we cut them into pieces like this. And my granddaughter and I add these into our craft um, I have a container that I have stuff that we use, beads and buttons and strings and leftover yarns, and we take our leftover straws and we cut them into pieces. We make things with them. We make things to hang outside. We make necklaces, bracelets, and decorations. It's kind of like having noodles. A lot of the noodle projects that you make with the noodles, we use these. So I just wanted to clarify that I'm not throwing them away. We're washing them with super hot water. And if you want to reuse your straws like I do, I don't use soap in them because I did before and I ended up with a little bit of soap residue and sipping coffee with some dish soap coming through it is not tasty. <laughs> and so just wash them with some really hot water and I stand them up so the water can drip out and they can dry and I reuse them or we cut them up and put them in our craft supplies. So I just really wanted to clarify that because I don't want to offend anybody. I do love my world. I do love my country and I do want to help keep it healthy. Okay. Just, just a little FYI there. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is the April giveaway. So I'm going to click over to this other camera so I can show you. This is our April giveaway. Three skeins of what's called textures. It's a really cool yarn. It has like a bumpy texture to it. It's like a really skinny boucle. Okay. It, each skein has three ounces, which is 149 yards. It's a medium weight number four, and they're called 
meadow flowers. Now I wanted to show you, this one looks different than the other two, but if you look in the center of this one, you can see that there is that green. They're all three the same color. It's just this one has the green on the outside. And these have it on the inside, okay? So those are all three the same. And it's a really beautiful yarn. It's a long, a long stripe. Actually, I don't know how long the stripes on it are, but it is a striping yarn. It's gorgeous. I think this would make a beautiful summer shawl or wrap. And you get three skeins of it, and you're going to get one of our coffee and crochet zipper bags. And this is a canvas bag. It's a really good sturdy bag. has a nice zipper on it. It has this little tassel. And then it also has this little clip. And that's so you can clip it on your crochet bag. I like to clip mine on and then put it right inside the bag. That way I don't have to go searching for it in the middle of my uh, project bag. You can put your scissors in there. You can put your crochet hooks, a bag of M&Ms, <laughs> maybe Skittles. You know, you can put your things in there. And so that's what the April giveaway is. Three skeins of Lion Brand textures yarn in the colorway of meadow flowers it's just a gorgeous gorgeous yarn okay so how do you get involved in the giveaway well those of you who have already commented you're already entered and so all you have to do to enter the giveaway is comment on this live video whether you comment when it's live or later on when we stick it over to the uh, regular youtube channel when it when it is on the regular channel, not live, live or unlive. <laughs> Either way, all your comments are entries into the giveaway. Then in two weeks, and that is, I think, April 19th, two weeks from today, I'll announce the winner. And then I'll tell you how to get a hold of me so I can send that to you. Okay, I think it's super cool. All right, so that is our giveaway. I'm really kind of jealous because I want those yarns myself. <laughs> They're so pretty. I think they all, with the three of those, you could make a lovely shawl or wrap maybe for um, any of your sundresses or maybe if you have a tank top and jeans and have a little wrap, that would be so pretty. All right. Now, I wanted to tell you next about some fun finds that I had this week. My granddaughter and I, um, she they'd been on vacation, and so I hadn't seen her for a week or so. And so she came over last Thursday, and one of the things we love to do is go to a store called Five Below. And I don't know if you have these there, but everything in the store is $5 or below, except they have one section that has like electronics and stuff might be a little more. But it's full of really neat things. And it's not your typical like dollar store junk. I don't mean that rudely, but it's not, you know, because you can find some neat things at your dollar stores. But it's a really neat store. And so we were walking through there and we found this. And this is called a Poppets. And you just push the butt, the little knobs in or whatever those are bumps and this one kind of looks like a calculator and she goes oh ma you could use that when you're counting crochet so you don't get an attitude <laughs> and I thought what a neat idea because this really looks like a little calculator <laughs> and I think this was like three bucks I mean you know and I thought well I probably won't use it to count rows because that's only let's see one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, five. So that'd be 25 rows. And most of my things have more than 25 rows in them. But I thought it was a really cool thing to have along. Um, you could use it for projects or lots of other things. Or just push the buttons in. I just thought it was a cool, a cool thing. Okay. The other thing that she found she, was this. This is Dunkin' Donuts jelly beans. Okay. And we, lo we love coffee, right? Some of us, I know some of y'all don't, but they're toasted coconut, butter pecan, French vanilla, caramel latte, and hazelnut coffee. Now, we haven't tried them yet because I wanted to show them to y'all. And I think these were like two bucks or three bucks at, at um, Five Below also. And I've not seen them anyplace else. So you may look online, see if you can find them. But I'm excited about trying those Dunkin' Donuts coffee jelly beans. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> I 
just thought it was fun. Okay, now. When I was working out back in my uh, container garden area, my husband comes in and goes, I got something for you. Well, my neighbor gave my husband this, and I'm going to show this to you. This is just crazy. This is a huge box of yarn. There's probably about $300 worth of yarn in here. And I have never seen this yarn before. This is called... Premier Jazz. Isn't that neat? I'm going to put this over on this other camera because I want you to see this. This box has purple, lavender, pink, peach, white, lots of colors. I'm just going to move those up there so, uh, so you can see this. Okay, this is a Jumbo number seven. It's super soft. It is acrylic. And I want you to see what this is. This is like a tube of knit. Let me open this so you can see in here. See? And all put together to make a big bulky yarn. And it's super soft. And like I said, it was about $300 worth of yarn in this. I looked it up. And these run anywhere, I think, from $6.99 to $8.99, depending where you, where you buy them. I've never seen them before. And I go to Premier Yarn all the time, so it must be an older yarn. But, of course, this is in great shape. Most of these are still in the bags. Like, there's blue, and here's a darker blue. There's a peach. There's um, lavender. White. And so, um, I'm curious if any of you have ever heard of this before or tried it. I think I'm going to knit it and make a big knit blanket. You know, one of those great big loose knit blankets. I think I'm going to try that with this. Um, but it's, it's just gorgeous yarn. I wanted to show it to you because, like I said, I have never, ever seen this yarn before. It is a premier yarn. And it's just gorgeous and so soft. Anyway, I thought that I wanted to show it to you because that was just so nice of my neighbor. Um, they got it a few years ago when um, she was she just had a baby. Oh, he's probably like three or four by now. <laughs> but she got it after she had him and she was going to make a blanket and never got around to it. And so she just gave it to me. So I think it's going to be super fun. Marianne says they have a five below there too. It is a really neat store. You can find lots of toys and games uh, makeup and every time it's the holidays like uh, Christmas, uh, Valentine's Day, Easter, whatever, they really have some really great bargains in there also. It's just a really neat store. My granddaughter and I really enjoy going there every now and then because you can find things you've never seen before there. Okay, Wanda says she believes it was on clearance. A lot of times, one thing to remember about some of these yarns, um, if you're looking for an older yarn, um, going to Hirschner's and Mary Maxim, they, they buy some of the older yarns and resell them, um, at, at cheaper prices. And so that might be a place to look for that also. I just Googled it real quick and I just saw it a couple places, but when I went there, it was discontinued. And so it's not on Premier anymore. You won't find it there unless they, you know, come up with some. And so what I think I'm going to do with it, like I said, is I'm going to make a blanket with it. It's a really big, thick yarn, but it's really soft. And I think I'm going to knit it. And I'll let you all know what I do with it and the progress as well. The other thing I wanted to mention real quick is a couple of weeks ago, I talked about these bent needle. Um, and it had two sizes in there. And I do like them, but I can't honestly say that I like them any better than a straight needle. They're great for doing stuffies and ammies and pillows and when you're adding faces because you can kind of go in and manipulate a little better. But for weaving in ends, they're, they're not any better or any less. They're, they're okay. So um, if you have straight needles, I wouldn't run out and get a bunch of bent ones. It's just my opinion, of course. But I did like using them on the stuffies and putting on faces. I did want to tell you that. All right. Whew. We're not done yet. <laughs> We have to talk about what's new this week at Posh Pooch Designs. So, before we go any farther, I'm going to talk about this blanket that's behind me on my chair. This is the Rambling Rainbow Blanket. 
and I absolutely love it. It's the perfect size to wrap around me when I'm just stepping outside to give, uh, go out with the dogs. But of course, it's super easy to adjust longer and wider. And it's a really simple four row repeat. And this is how that yarn works up that we talked about. Um, I didn't leave one out because I have, I've got one and a half left. I'm thinking of making a matching little pillow to go with it. <laughs> But anyway, this is the yarn. It's called Rainbow. It's it's a Craft Smart from Michaels. And it's super soft. And I just absolutely love how it's stitched up as a blanket. And then we did this fun little trim. It's kind of a wave stitch. So that it looks like clouds. Kind of. <laughs> but I really, really love this blanket. I'm going to whip it back up around my chair. Um, and um, if you... You know, we're looking for the pattern. That's it. It's out there. We did that yesterday. Okay, so the other thing that we did was the spring chicks. And remember, we did the spring lambs, and this is a spring chick to go with that. And tomorrow, we're going to do the spring bunny. <laughs> so that'll be fun. And we're going to be using these same flowers as well. I wanted them on all three of our new, these are hot pads, pot holders, and decorations. And just a reminder, if you want to put anything hot on this, make sure that you make these out of cotton yarn. If you want it to be um, thicker, make two circles, put them together, and then add the trim. And then it will be nice and thick as well. The other thing that you can do is make two and stuff it, and then you'll have sweet little pillows. And that's kind of why I wanted to go with the circle design. We have the lammies, we have the spring chicks, uh, spring lamb, spring chick, and tomorrow we're going to do the spring bunny. All right? And I'll talk more about those uh, tomorrow when we do the last pattern. And I'm, what I'm doing on those is just, it's just a three-thing series, but I've got another idea in mind. I might have to do just one more. Because <laughs> somebody asked me if I had a cow, and I was thinking, well, you know, cows are born in the spring. Might have to do a spring calf. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All righty. The other thing we did was for April Fool's Day, we did some chill pills. And you, they're done the same. You can... Um, do the face sideways, you can do the face up ways. They're just soft and squishy. And I thought they would be great to make because if you're having a rough day, pick one of these up and squish it around and throw it at somebody. <laughs> and then you can chill out and they can chill out. <laughs> if it's just something fun and silly to make because April Fool's landed on our Friday and I'm just not one of those people who thinks it's very nice to play tricks on people that are not kind, you know? I think silly jokes are fun, but I don't think being, you know, I don't know. It's just me. You may like them. But these are our chill pills. They're super fun to make and super fun to play with. And I like to throw them at my grandkids, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I left anything out, and we're actually done pretty early. Okay, so. Let me just kind of give you an idea of what's going to be happening the next few. We talked a little bit about um, the um, thing we're going to do this Friday. And I know I talked to you last week about gardening videos. And so what I do as far as my garden is I do everything in containers. I have big buckets and big um, tubs, strawberry barrels, things like that. And I want to show you how you can really grow a successful garden if you don't have a lot of room, you just you don't you don't really need much room. You just need a little bit of room, and how to put different vegetables together, what grows well in small containers, and what you can do to get ready. And so, what I'm going to do this Friday is I'm going to short I'm going to show you how it looked before I cleaned it up, and then cleaning it up, and then getting farther, and then a really neat palette project that I did. And then I'm going to show you how to make what's called a whirly jig. And a whirly jig is just a thing. It's kind of, it's similar to those spinner things, but it's not exactly like that. It's a little different. And the yarn that I used for it, and I have a favorite yarn that I love to use making decorations for my garden. And I'm going to show you that as well. And um, I buy it at Hobby Lobby and make sure you go and get it when they're having their 30% off. 
it's not an expensive yarn, but just because you're going to want to get several colors. And we'll talk about that on Friday as well. Okay. And um, I just, I like to incorporate um, crochet in other things that I do. And so when I'm out doing my, my container garden, I like there to be bright and springy things and decorations and things like that, that we can take something that we love like crochet and add it to something else that I love like container gardening. Um, if you were to come in my house right now, my dining room, my kitchen, my breakfast nook, my living room, my family room, my whole main floor looks like a greenhouse because I, I have arrow gardens. And so, and those are where you just grow in water and light and stuff. Anyway, but anyway, um, <clears throat> I start them that way and then I move everything into containers. And so this way, because here up here where I live, we can't plant outside until it's after Mother's Day because we get spring snowstorms and it, it, it it'll drop We'll get the spring snow, and then the next day it melts away. And I don't really mind the spring snow because it doesn't last long, but it does affect my garden. And so I start a bunch of stuff inside my house. And I've got tomatoes. I've got two kinds of tomatoes, actually. I've got two kinds of peppers. I've got shasta daisies. I've got marigolds. I've got, like, several things of pumpkin. And I don't, I don't start my lettuce, my kale, or my spinach um, yet. I will in about two weeks. I'll get those started. But um, a lot of these things you can go ahead and get started if you live in a climate like I do where you can't plant outside just yet. Oh, I also have hydrangeas that are in my dining room <laughs> because it's too cold here. And so I put them in these big buckets and I bring them in, you know. And so that's why I said, I think last week or the week before, I would just give anything to have a greenhouse because then I could get a lot of this stuff started and even grow through the winter. And I do grow my lettuce, my spinach, my kale, tomatoes, peppers, a lot of this stuff through the winter in my arrow gardens. That way we have fresh vegetables and fruits through the year. We don't, not fruits, but fresh vegetables. <clears throat> my voice is getting tired again. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> let me take a quick drink. <clears throat> so anyway, we're going to discuss a lot of this on Friday. And then, of course, I have a crochet project for you as well. And tomorrow, again, we're going to do our spring bunny. And so I have lots more fun things planned. I have this adorable baby bonnet that, that has, then we're going to use those same spring flowers on. That is just adorable, and I just love it. I'm trying to think of what else we have planned for next week, but I can't really remember everything all of a sudden. But we do have lots of fun Easter and spring and then heading into summer projects and that's really important because a lot of people think that when the weather gets warm you can't crochet anymore well that's not true at all there are tons of wonderful crochet projects that you can do you may not be making big heavy blankets and things like that but there are tons of wonderful spring and summer projects that we can do and so i've got a lot of fun stuff planned <laughs> All righty, so I think I have covered everything. I'm looking at my desk. I just want to remind you to make comment. And you only need to, you don't have to comment over and over again. Once you've commented once, although you can if you want to, I don't mind. But your name will only go in one time, and then two weeks from today, I'll announce the winner of our April giveaway. All right? And that's all I've got for today. Boy, it seemed like I had a ton of stuff to talk about. Well, I guess I did. <laughs> All righty, everybody. Try not to be too cold in all that spring snow. And if you can plant, get busy planting. <laughs> I'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye now. <laughs>